Hey everyone, this is Frank from Backpack and the PNW, and this time we're heading to the hills with the kidlets. They don't know what we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna go on an adventure. We'll figure it out. Where do you think we're going? Um, I, mean, I was thinking like Cascade Lakes. Cascade Lakes? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Where what do you think, Daddy? You think that's? Well, we're on the Cascade Lakes Highway. Oh, bum, bum, bum. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look and see. Mm -hmm. We've got some traffic. That's for sure. <laughs> Anybody? Watch out behind us. Oh! Are these like snowshoes? They are like, they are exactly like snowshoes. Okay. Uh, how do we use them? What do you think? They feel okay? Yeah. Oh, you're heading out now? Okay. Oh, sure yeah. Yeah. Why do they feel so weird? I have to be careful not to get my straps tied. Oh, are they getting tied up? Everybody else ready and forget your own stuff. Far for the course. It feels looser than this one. See, like, see how the bottom goes down more than this one? Oh, does it? See, look. Look at this one and then look at this one. Oh, I don't know. You'll have to. Yeah, that's how we're flopping all over the place. What's that? Okay. Gosh, I keep being tangled up. I'm a pro already. You're a pro already? I'm not a pro yet. That's what they groom it. And they groom it so it's nice and smooth. It's groomed mostly for skiers. In this area, we can walk. 
But if you look here, all of these areas that you see here are all ski places. So we stay off in these trails because the skiers have nice little tracks where they like to follow. And you can see those tracks right up here. Come out here real quick. Do you see those tracks right there? See those two sets of tracks? Gracie, come out here so you can learn. Okay. See those tracks? And watching a skier, he'll put his he'll put his skis right in those tracks. See? Yeah. Now that makes it so he can go real easy. If we cross his tracks with our snowshoes, we mess it up for them. Oh, okay? true. So there's only certain trails that they'll allow snowshoers to climb. But here's the beauty of snowshoes. We can go anywhere because we got snowshoes. So we can go <laughs> off trail and around the corner here. But it's important when you're in a snow park that you got to follow the rules. Okay? And so anyway, um, with that being said, we have actual snowshoe trails that the skiers can't go on, but only we can. And see, they have these trails over here, and Daddy's done these trails. Okay? See? Hey, it says exactly the thing see? that you did. Well, that's because I know the rules. Okay? Hey, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No, it's already been packed down. So Gus is floating right now because the snow is really firm. So you can make your own tracks, or if it's easier, you can follow Gus's tracks. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to put my coat back on. Yeah. Okay, now if you took your snowshoes off, you'd probably sink up almost to your knees. I don't have snowshoes oh, on. Gosh, Mama's got boots on. She can come out here and stand and show them. Yeah, I get snow in my boots. It's so tiring. It's tiring? I love it. Okay, well, it's a different type of walking, too. So when you walk, you don't want to try to lift your foot up too far. You just want to lift it up. I'm getting dripped on out of the tree. You want to just lift up far enough to slide your, your, your thing forward. And if you can, you want to try to drag your tail. See? Yeah. And the reason why you do that is because if you're doing long distances, you don't want to exert a lot of energy. If you're going like this, see that? That's exerting a lot of energy to do that. If you can just lift it just enough. Like this? Yep, that's perfect. But not like that. Ooh, <laughs> I tripped on my strap! Let's start with walking first and not running. You gotta try, walk before you run, Grace. Let me see if I can touch your strap. If I was to have these on my own, I'd probably rubber band them, but see if that works for a little while. Are you, uh, do you need gloves? I have gloves for you guys. We're going to do a test to see how far my foot sinks without snowshoes. Ready? Okay. Okay, do it with snowshoes. Yeah. It's a little bit different, isn't it? Okay, so what do you guys think? Good. The actual snow trail is. How do you think you're going to find where the snow trail is? So, you know, you're on the right map. See, this is, that's a snowshoe trail. This is a snowshoe trail. So those are snowshoe trails. So, we're right down here, so we got to go up. And if we look up, there's a sign way up there. So, you want to go up and look at the sign? Do you want me to just leave that here? Huh? I'm videoing right now. Here, here, you take it with you, and then you can do some pictures. I just wanted to get a picture of the kids yeah. walking away. Okay, so we're up here on the trail. 
There's been a bunch of people up here already, so we are just cruising along here. How's it feel, son? How's it feel? See, that's the beauty of snowshoes. You can go anywhere, but be careful. I want to talk to you real quick about going off trail. Meisner, we're gonna head up a little further up the hill and we're gonna go check out the next place. Pretty cool. So Gus, what did you think about your first time snowshoeing? It was pretty good. Pretty good. Think you'll want to go again? What was the best part about it? Hill. I know, sorry, downhill. Oh, downhill? What's the worst part? Going uphill? Yeah. Look at, Brad, look at this. Oh, that's kind of cool. If we had sleds today. Is that a warming? Look at how big, look how big that snowman is. Oh my, that's a, that's, I can't really see it. That's a big snowman, but it's hard to see. Would that be fun to sled down that? Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. And it looks like there's a warming shelter, yes? People with that tire bikes right in the snow. Oh, cool. And pit toilets. Interesting. Oh, sorry. Hey, my foot dogs run a lot. This is a different place. Dogs on leash. Dogs on leash. And then these people are cat. Are cat. Oh, that's cool. That dog's going around like our dog. Well, I was that probably is very so happy. Cool. That's cool. Oh, sorry about the bump. So this, another little warming. Not as you, not as heavily used for snowshoers. This is more for snowmobilers. Snowmobilers. Or oh, snow machines. Well, hence the trailers. The snowmobilers go up over in there. Oh, I see. Like the other Oops. So. Okay. Oh. Hello. Okay. So, what was your favorite part, Gracie? Uh, going down. And worst part? Uh, going up the hill. Makes sense. Here, I'll hold the map. <laughs> go, Gussie, go. So no wonder Bigfoot has to walk like that when he's going through the snow. It's pretty tough, huh? Okay, so there's a snowshoe trail that goes this way right here. What is that right there? Can you see the tracks? It's like a ski trail. It's the main road that goes this way. Here the rocks. You kind of look like Bigfoot. <laughs> Gus is down. Gus is down. Can you get up? Little boy down. Little boy down. <laughs> I would say man down. Gracie's gonna try now. That's even more tiring. Like, why is it so tiring? Because you you're using your if muscles. If you didn't have snowshoes, how hard it would be to walk through the snow? Please keep me warm. Oh, don't touch me. Are you frozen? Remember I talked about your, your gait? How you walk? You frozen, Gussie? Here, you can put your hands in here, no. inside my coat. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> you went so put your, put your your left foot there. Left foot there. Okay. Now.
ship off the old block right there. How you doing, Grace? You okay? Yeah. You need some help? <laughs> okay. Hey, Adam, this looks like you going down the hill. Yeah. I was trying to go down the hill by myself, but <laughs> I just slipped. You're letting the mountain beat you, huh? <laughs> You're just taking it easy on him. Oh, he's gonna sleep tonight. <laughs>